Glasgow. And um, I was there myself. I wasn't there for your commission, but I heard it was amazing. How many people were in it? Like 150 of the best dancers in the world because they would so you can't do to qualify, right? And so did you practice a lot for us? How many hours a day did you practice for winning the world champions at the age of ten? Usually on the weekends I practice about three hours each day and on regular classes two hours three days. And you go to school with that? Yeah. Oh, you do? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So do you get up early in the morning or do you practice when you get home from school or after you tell your home? How do you sit in? Okay, and would you have like a class of milk after practicing, or how do you reach I don't know, I used to drink milk after practicing, and then I developed an allergy for, for milk from drinking ice cream, two pints of milk after, so don't drink two pints, one pint of milk after. But, Julia, I want to ask you about uh, your costume. Tell us a little bit about your costume. Who made this thing? And, you know, most of the dancers in your competition were wearing a wig. Were you wearing a wig when you won the Royal Dark Are you wearing a wig today? No. You seem to be the only one of the Petri dancers here today not wearing a wig. Is there a story behind that? Uh, I was dressing in the car. <laughs> well, I think she looks lovely without a wig, guys. What do you think? Did you ever think about going to dancing fest without wearing a wig? Um, no. These dancers Karen Petty would probably be after you, wouldn't they? Yeah. Well, Julie, it was brilliant. And uh, have you any more ambitions in Irish Championship? You've won the World Irish Championship. Are you going to go and try and win it again? Um, yeah, next year. Absolutely There was another girl who was dancing here with you, Gabrielle Wood, who's won it twice already. And um, she's probably not done either yet, would you say? Um, she's probably going to keep that. Yeah. So, uh, where's the World Championship next year? I think they're in Ireland, aren't they? I think they're in Dublin, actually. I think they're in Dublin next year. So, um, and they're going to be in Boston in 2013. Maybe we'll all catch up with the World Champions in Boston in 2013. Thank you. Thanks so much. And I think you are Filipino American, is that right? I think you might be the first ever Filipino American Irish dancer to win the World Champions. How do you feel about that? Yeah, Have you been to the Philippines? Well, I'm sure they'll be looking forward to hearing about you and to welcoming you to the Philippines. Yeah. Congratulations again and welcome. Thanks for having us. Julie O'Rourke from the Texas School of Arts Thank you very much. Thank you.